Welcome to Sterling Stocks. Today we're going to be talking about, of course, TRCH and MMATF. I'm not a financial advisor, so do what you will with this information. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You're missing the ship. So, today we got battered around, battered around, hanging around, hanging around, hanging around today. Wanted to bust out, couldn't quite do it. Uh, there's some stuff going around, some speculation. We're just going to hit it real quick. Pretty good odds that it might come true so we'll just look at the key facts of it and what it comes down to the key points we need to hit and it doesn't mean our battle is over honestly if you play this correctly everyone do as they wish this is the five five day chart here what's hammering them down and they've done all they can short ladder short ladder short ladder short ladders all around i'm telling you so it's there the short interest is there they have not covered uh that was just fomo buying pressure on the shorts and then they added more onto it otherwise these top numbers that are on a t2 delay would not be going up unless ortex is just completely wrong on the day at 16 percent so the short interest is still definitely here so we'll just touch on this real quick so we can kind of get it out of the way radar some very good dd bear be sure to go give him a follow on stock twits uh if you look here he's pointing towards possible reverse split coming i did call fidelity as well had some other people in the discord called their brokers as well there is one pending currently for uh torchlight so uh it, it pending means that it doesn't have to be used but it could be used to meet some requirements as we see here uh they want and like to see a minimum price it's not required but like to see a minimum price of five so uh torch was unable to hold the eight to ten dollar range so likely we'll have to do the two for one and fidelity told me that it was a two for one in place so just keep that in mind and it said pending so it doesn't have to be used at the moment but it could be used and two for one is the absolute smallest one they could have did uh, but it doesn't mean we are dead and i put point to some reason why and one thing i want to point out is also we did vote on this they also said that it was highly unlikely uh but still it was it's still only being used as a necessary tool and it doesn't kill our short squeeze at all because if you think about it even though they they have to pay back less shorts because there's less shares to be because they get they still get the two for one stock split as well and it helps you out obviously as a, as a short but there's less shares overall so the percent of the company being shorted is still 100 percent there and uh another thing is just because they got half the shares gone the value is still the same because the price is still the same so they're gonna have to purchase at likely twice the price of any other shorts so even though they're getting rid of half their shares twice the price still equals about the same so the one key thing they're honestly looking for is for everyone to freaking sell off so that they can cover at cheap prices before they have to cover on a split honestly where the price is, is higher so just keep that in mind that's what they've been banking on this is what they're hoping for we don't know if this is going to be announced uh tomorrow monday or what this is pure speculation but i did talk to fidelity other people have talked to swab and whatnot you can talk to your other broker if you want to of course but uh it is in place one thing that radar also pointed to if they can announce the reverse split and the merger close on the same day which could be tomorrow which could be monday uh just keep that in mind expected kind of monday but uh that would basically lock up the price and it's basically a done freaking deal at that point so that would really screw the shorts if they could lock that up basically on the same day at the same time and it's possible that they could do that uh no legal bindings in that way so as i was kind of saying mmatf plus 30 on the day as radio also reports out so very very huge there there is still interest here short interest is here they're banking 100 percent on you guys selling i promise 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 another interesting thing is he tweeted out a radar picture george did and as we know our good buddy radar is the one who put this out on stock so very very interesting there uh we can freely move starting next week is also in this so we know george is a very cryptic man himself uh still points to some very interesting things if we go to short interest once again uh this comes from torch x meta uh 34 percent 26 percent on amc 23 percent 25 percent 25 percent so the most heavily shorted stocks guess who's number one torch is the most interested by the short 16 percent on the day according to fintel uh is how many they added so just keep, or according to ortex is how many they added so just keep that in mind uh they don't get scared by the reverse split so one thing we should touch on what is a reverse split a reverse split uh, since it's probably going to be a two for one as fidelity told me expected it is pending so it's it's not 100 percent at the moment but it's it still could very well be likely unless torch sees some sort of a run of course uh still possible maybe some shorts cover next week but they're hoping everyone sells off tomorrow with dividend news being paid in your account y'all kind of know how i feel on that uh if you 
if you sell it before it's in your account, kind of risky. I would wait till it's in your account. We know the starting price of MMAT is based off the closing price of Torch, of course, if we've been rocking with the channel. I will say my 100th video is coming up. Actually, this is either 100th video or tomorrow night will be 100th video. So pretty ironic. We're matching up very well. I don't think this thing is over. Like, don't give up on this thing, honestly. Like, if you can hold through it, if you don't want to and you don't got, want to get reverse split, you can sell. But one thing I want to say, uh, talking about the reverse split, sorry, I kind of got off on a tangent there. Uh, but two for one is a... So you, for every one stock that you have, or for every two stock that you have, you're going to get one stock for that. So say you have 100 shares, you'll end up with 50 shares. But since the price is likely going to be twice as much as it is now, you will have the same value in your stock. And that goes the same for shorts covering. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it's It sucks on the short term, but actually it's not that big of a thing. A lot of people just kind of overlook it in my opinion. Uh, but always trade at your own risk. The shorts are banking on everyone selling at this point so they can cover low. But if no one sells on this news and keeps the pressure on them, then they're going to be locked up either be forced to cover after the merger when the split and the, the stock is twice as much or they're going to be forced to cover before then and we're going to see a run up before then so by all means i do not believe this thing is dead uh by any means do what you will if this news actually comes out of course just just from radar and stock twists i call my broker other people's in my discord call their broker it seems like pretty likely if it's needed to be used it will be used just wanted to be real with y'all and bring you all the information tried to keep this one decently short uh but i'll be rocking with y'all we'll see how the pre-market is if there's not much activism we're kind of stagnant i'll come on for about an hour or so and then we'll be sure to hit the afternoon stream as well i do have work but uh i will be going live at some point in the morning hopefully as long as i don't oversleep of course but i'll, I'll, I'll definitely be trying to get up see what type of action we got going on expect some coverage maybe that's another catalyst we could see if on the payment date they announce some sort of price it would be freaking bangerangs so just keep that in mind uh but it's not over even if this reverse split does get announced friday or monday or in the afternoon just be prepared for it it's it, it could happen but uh we just don't know yet if it will be used only will be used as needed and it's not a killer if so because it's still the same value you just have less shares but uh as far as money value goes it will be the same technically and especially in the long term i think it will be fine and the higher mmat comes out the better it is for us because the less shorting that can happen the more institutions that are going to buy it i mean the higher your stock price is the more interest it has it's just the way it, just the way the stock market works so keep that in mind uh i think we're still well in play don't get fudded out by this reverse but there's going to be a ton of bears try to fudge you guys out I don't think we're dead. Uh, 16% the shorts don't think we're dead. They're banking on you guys. Like, I don't know. Trade at your own risk. MMATF up 37% on the day. If you want, you can still get 3 for 6 possibly, but it's getting close to that merger date, so get very close. So trade at your own risk there. Can't guarantee it, especially if they announce the merger close tomorrow because it's supposed to be the day before the merger closes. So be wary of that, but maybe still some time if they announce that on Monday. So maybe last pickings uh, there. But like I said, shorts will still have to pay equally the same amount as long as we don't sell off because even though it's half the shares it's the same amount of value and that goes the same for you you still have the same amount of value just less shares so you just have to hold on to it and i still think in the long term you will be well rewarded and maybe right after the opening uh if the shorts don't cover before then right after we get done with the post merger right post merger pff, shorts have to purchase back at twice the price that they were shorting at before uh could mean big things can't guarantee anything trade at your own risk uh but i will say i do have a cap c video coming out right after this one i'm still going to be keeping up with torch don't think i am just because i'm putting out other content we know mergers coming to close uh still going to be covering mmat still going to be keeping up with this till this merger is official so don't get worried about that that i'm covering other stocks but i do think that cap c is very squeezable so don't sell your torch light but maybe look into uh looking into that diverse in the portfolio be sure to check out that video give it a like if you want to uh, if you're new here be sure to subscribe and i will see y'all in the morning and as well for the afternoon live stream so see y'all later